Hello, welcome to the best handcrafted outdoor newsletter demonstration. Now, as you all know, I have just posted a banana bread recipe and a lot of you are concerned about where's the picture? Well, you make it and then you take a picture and go, look, I made it. So I'm going to be first here. Okay, you got my recipe, it's online. So this is how I make it. First off, one third cup of sugar. Check for sugar ants. We are in Oregon here and spring is now out. So there's the weather report. You can tell by how many sugar ants show up on your counter space. So one third cup of sugar one cup of margarine, or for those who really like butter and want a little added um, creamy fat to it, with the butter I cut it up into chunks, add it to the sugar, to make it easier to mix. Always first wash your hands, because it could get a little messy. So, sugar, butter, what else should we put in there? Check the recipe. Six eggs. I always put the wet ingredients in first with the sugar. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. This is the fun part. Six. Oops. <laughs> That's okay. You're going to smoosh them up anyways. One thing I forgot. Hold that thought. I'm going to get a towel. <laughs> okay. My favorite thing to mix. This is my handy dandy biscuit mixer slash banana bread mixer. That is the dog on the side. Okay, this is how I smush it all up. So you really work those arm muscles and you might end up looking more like my Uncle Brian, who is Mr. East of Scotland. Actually, this is the secret to building those muscles. Right, Uncle Brian? <laughs> and it's healthy too. Of course, it's been a while. Okay, here we go. This is hand mixing, even though I'm holding a tool in my hand. So sugar, eggs, and butter. Now, the first thing I do Knife is a great tool too. This is what a butter knife is for. Unclogging anything. Next, flour. So what I do is the first cup of flour, you usually level it off I'm winging it here. One cup of flour. This is where I will add in the bacon, bacon powder, three tablespoons or teaspoons. Three teaspoons. One, two, three. Bacon powder and bacon soda help the bread rise and one tablespoon of baking soda. Don't mix them up. And if you do, you'll know <laughs> in the taste. Okay. And at this point, I add cinnamon. Because I like having that little touch of cinnamon flavor to my banana bread. Mm, kind of hit how much you want. Too much, you'll know too in the taste. 
a touch of allspice because I, I'll alternate between allspice or nutmeg just to give that little seasonal flavor. Pumpkin spice has been used too during the holiday seasons. And I didn't put this really in the recipe. You could use vanilla. I found this at the store. It's rum flavored. So just a tiny bit of that goes a long way. Okay, now I kind of stir mix this. Now this banana bread is a batter bread, so it will be poured into the pans instead of rolled out like a yeast bread. Okay, so one cup of flour. I'm going to add the second cup of flour because it's gooey. And then kind of stir that in also. can already smell it. The spice is in that. Now alternate. I'm putting two bananas in at a time. You get very ripe bananas. This adds the sweetness and the potassium to it. And one neat thing about bananas is they shoot my sugar levels up to 300 if I have the pro proper proportion. Being a juvenile diabetic, I have to calculate everything I put into my body. But unfortunately, sometimes half a banana is way too much for me. By mixing it into banana bread, I found that I could still have the banana, but without the blood sugars going up because everything else helps balance it out. So it's not a straight fruit. Okay, I put three in there. I got distracted. Okay. Then just kind of chunk it up. See, I'm already feeling. Yeah. See, with the bananas, it's actually nice to leave little chunks anyways. Okay, how many cups of sugar did I... No. Cups of flour I put in was two, so this will be three. And then I stir that in. The bananas are the moisture, the flour is the, kind of like the glue that holds it together. Then I'm going to put, okay, three. So I have three more cups of flour. I have three bananas. So, one more banana. One more cup of flour. What the heck, I'm putting two more in. So that's a total of six bananas.
Oh, that smells good. Now it's bananas and cinnamon. And six cups of flour. like a lot of cookie dough. This is where it gets hefty. This really works the wrist out. All right. Okay, we got all the ingredients in. So the next step is going to be three loaves. So what I do first is I'll grease all the pans. I like Crisco. The key is to grease all the pans really well. That way after it cooks it pops right out ready to be cooled. Get all over in the corners on the sides. I grew up with my mom baking the best of everything. And I was her helper being the bread maker. My camera person's getting a little bored. But wait until it pops out. Have you heard the story of the little red hen? Who is going to help me cut this wheat? Who is going to help me eat this bread? That's a great story. I grew up with that. So that's why I always helped out in the kitchen because I like to eat. Now the secret, I learned this a little bit, is kind of put some flour in there and then kind of shake it. And it actually slips out much better. Kind of like a dusting. Shake and bake. It's not just for chicken. Okay. Three loaves. So what I do is I'll even it out. This is how I end up with white all over me. I want to try and get all of them about the same amount so they all cook evenly. And I put all three loaves in the oven at once. Ooh, that might have gotten a little more. I love spatulas because they're great for getting every little bit out of the bowl. Of course when I was little me and my sisters would lick the beaters and the spatulas and the bowls. That's before the salmonella got really bad in the scare because of anything with raw eggs. Occasionally I'll catch myself tasting it with my fingers and then go oops salmonella scare that's right. So I do my best not to do that anymore. Spread that out, a little extra in there, a little less in there. Hmm, it's kind of eyeballing it. All right. There 
there's one. Two. Three. You get all three of them on there? Ready to go in the oven. And then I set the oven at 350. And when I take them out, I'll show you how I pop them out and put them on the racks to cool. And there's banana bread in the making. Thank you very much and you have a great day. Okay, we're back and set up to take it out of the oven. It's just been over about 55 minutes right now, so hold that thought. One. Make sure you turn off the oven and what I did before I pulled them out, I took a toothpick and I stick it in and if none of the goo comes out, it's done. So the next step, the longer you leave it in here, it'll cook. This is very hot and if you've ever had hot fruit hop on you, it hurts. It burns. Kind of shake it out. It just kind of slips out. And, da da. Beautiful banana bread. Now, one nice thing about this banana bread is I get to use my handcrafted first ever um, these were handcrafted I got them at a craft fair and because this is the best handcrafted and outdoor newsletter online I loved how it um, has a little sayings on it walk softly and let nature be your guide and heaven seems a little closer in a cabin by a stream um, and homemade of course so, oh, that smells good. So the first two of them I am going to let cool completely. What? My camera person is telling me what to do. So click it off. Okay, we're back. Okay, camera person, get a zoom in. And a zoom out. Got it. Okay. We're both learning here. So these two are going to cool. And then I will put tin foil on them, bag them up, and then put them in the freezer and then take it out the night before any event. And they'll be ready to go for any potluck we're invited to. Okay. Now, proportion-wise, this needs to be cut into... 13 pieces. That way it's 22 grams of carbs. I calculated it out for the for the diabetics who have to carb count. So usually wait till it cools to where you cut, but it's always nice to get the first couple of pieces. But that's about the size that I cut it to. Wait till it cools a little bit because the banana will burn. And this is if you want extra um, butter on it. I mean, that is cool. 
Mm. Just right. Well, thank you very much for tuning in and homemade and outdoors. And this will be our road trip cruise snack. <laughs>